I am going to use a pressure temperature phase diagram for a single component to explain why the boiling point increases and the freezing point decreases when we add a solid solute to a solvent. So on this diagram, this is the saturation pressure of the solvent above the liquid phase. So liquid, vapor, and solid. So this is the line that separates the solid from the liquid. And if we look at one bar pressure, this would be the boiling point at one bar pressure for the solvent. So what happens if we add a solute, and we're going to look at a solute that doesn't dissociate, then the, the pressure, let's call this the new pressure, would, would be the mole fraction of the solvent times the saturation pressure of the solvent. So this is essentially assuming ideal solution or Allot's law. So you can write this in terms of the mole fraction of the solute. And so this new pressure is lower than the saturation pressure. So if I would draw a line here, and just by hand, a curve rather, it would be something like this. So if we look at a given temperature, the pressure is lower. Or if we look at a given pressure, we can see that the boiling point, let's call this with a solute present, is higher. So we've raised the boiling point of the solvent containing a solute. Now keep in mind this is assuming the saturation pressure of the solute is zero, which for a solid is a pretty good approximation. So what this means then is it doesn't depend on which solute we add. All it depends on what its mole fraction is, again for something that's not dissociating. We also notice then, if you look at this point, this is the triple point for the pure material. We've lowered the triple point, the point where three phases coexist. And so I could again hand draw in the line that separates the solid and the liquid, which means at a given pressure, we've lowered also now the freezing point. So what we've done is the boiling point increased, but the freezing point decreased.